coming off the uh, the runners, that situation. Fuck, I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, what's good YouTube? You're back with your man, Lucas Lawman's back in the studio, Christ. South Island WZ. That's right, back after a week or two's break, we have got some serious heat for you. Before we get into any of that, let's quickly smash out the admin, if you're here and you like what you see, and that is my take on From a New Zealand perspective, and absolutely, you've come to the right place and you probably want to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That one will let you know when I release vids, as I don't specific schedule. But stoked to be back in the studio with something a little bit more hype and a bit more interesting, one I haven't seen before, that is the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle in this dark violet and campfire orange colorway. A really crazy looking pair that's worth going into. So let's get into it. We're also gonna try something a little bit different today and we're giving you the top down perspective <whistles> on our, a full unboxing of these bad boys. So excited to get into it, so let's do so. This my friends and family is the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle collab in the dark iris and Dark Iris and Campfire Orange colorway. So something that I've never really gotten too far into in terms of learning about or I've never owned a pair. One of the legends of NZ Kick Chat, our group on the bookface, that's this one, was kind enough to have these sent to my house after his cop and his size so I could review them. That's how just how we roll around here. So it's always fun getting into an unboxing. So let's cut to the top down and check that out. So these Nike Sakai Vapor Waffles arrive in this nice retro box with the Nike branding, uh, probably a little bit hard to see, but sort of glossed on there. Retro partial Nike branding on the sides, there and there. Nothing on the back part. And then we've got the size tag, Nike, Nike Vapor Waffle Sakai 11 and a half. Now they've got the classic slide, which I love. And there we go. From our local resale site, Asia Pacific Novel Ship. This is your authentication card, much like you'd be used to seeing with StockX. Thank you for being a customer, so that's cool. Sakai paper, which is nice. These are double wrapped. Really well presented, really cool unboxing. Got one of them there. Two, le two, le ugh, two layers of tissue. Put that back in there. And that is the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle. Box really well, really, really cool. Stoked to get them in hand. Boom. So it was cool to get them in hand outside the box and we'll give it the NZ Kitchat breakdown, shall we? So starting with those materials up top, so it's a mix of all sorts going on with these bad boys and that is a nylon, stretchy nylon, yet padded mesh across the mid three quarters. We've also got bits of suede in there and then we've got some synthetic leather. Yeah, it's definitely, it's not too thick, it's not too awesome. We'll call it synthetic in that uh, campfire orange as they're calling it, both on the swoosh and on the rear. Now the Sakai design language is doubles of absolutely everything and you see that across these materials in terms of the print. So you've got the double swoosh, uh, we've got the double midsole there of course as well. Uh, so across the, across the top of the uppers, these guys are actually fairly interesting. I wouldn't say premium, they're sort of 
a runner's vibe with a touch of the premium materials in there with that leather at the heel and the suede across the eyelets and the toe box. So an interesting one, a bit all over the show and I think that's half the point. As we come around to the toe box and up the lace counter and up we go. This is another real interesting part of these, the double laces. We've got the standard flat white laces that you would expect to see in most Nike kicks and then they've intertwined that with this navy blue ribbon. I think it looks fantastic how practical that is, I'm not really too sure, but it does look bloody great. And then at the top we've got the classic Sakai double tongue. Double tongue is done really nicely, it goes all the way down both in that purple nylon and then in the white with Sakai in black and Nike at the top. And then the Nike Sportswear slightly more retro vibe. On the purple tag we've got the Nike branding retro styles with that burnt orange or bright orange uh, swoosh which is really, really cool. Back around on the heel counter, we've got Nike Sakai printed in there in the uh, that orange leather. We've got a purple pull tag, which is really nice. And then as we come down to the midsole, this is where stuff gets super interesting with these guys, all super weird, depending on how you're looking at it. And right across that midsole there, three layers. It feels like a nice, decent, soft PU type foam. So these will be nice underfoot. And of course, round at the heel, it's got a deliberate split. This is what makes it look wild, but does actually give quite a bit of cushion to these, which is nice. A big sort of tongue in the middle, but there's reinforced plastic in the center of those three layers. So it's just an interesting combo. I don't want to get these on feet uh, as they're not mine. I won't comment on, the, on that side of things, but I'm picking that these are going to be pretty stable, pretty comfy, yet bulky underfoot. They definitely have that bulky vibe. And as we come down to the outsole, classic waffle outsole. So this is retro as coming back from the 80s. Thick nodules of that waffle right across the three quarters with a tiny little bit of the lines at the rear. Nike branding in the centre and we are good to go. What's up with the Vapor Waffle as a model? Now it's a cross up when Sakai, which is a Japanese fashion house, these guys there that have been around for some time, luxury brand, so it's yet another collaboration that they're doing with those types, much like your off-whites. Basically create a whole sort of new model as a uh, as a mashup of a couple of Nike's previous historic runner models. So it's meant to be a mix between the Vaporfly then and also the Pegasus from 1983, smash those together, give it the Sakai vibe with that crazy heel of the uh, mid midsole, and this is what we've got. In terms of sizing, I'm not 100% sure because, as I said, I'm not getting them on feet, so you're just going to have to miss out on that one. But from what I've read on the interwebs, you most likely want to go up half a size with these, regardless of the fact they look huge and they're bulky, the uppers are fairly snug, and that is essentially us. So the Nike Sakai Vapor Waffle in this. It's dark iris and campfire orange colorway. A wild looking sneaker that's based on a runner that you probably really wouldn't want to run in. Looks fantastic, it's a standout shoe. Really is making a statement. So it's a nice collab. The materials aren't of the highest quality, but she's gonna be comfy, something a bit different. And I'm sure my man Mana will be stoked to get these. Thanks once again for coming to hang out with us in the studio here in Christchurch. Keep an eye on the channel, keep an eye on the group, so much more to come as for always. And we will see you on the next one. Boop! Nike Sakai. Vapor.